you still encounter the whole question of you know, what is anthropology and, and why do we need it? And, and who better to tell us than our leader? What, what, would be, what would be your pitch to what we uniquely have contributed and continue to contribute as a discipline? Oh. Well, you might be surprised by the statement that I want to defend, which is that I think that we have a greater assurance of uh, the truth of our work than physicists do. <laughs> and the reason is, I think, uh, put it this way, if you're a physicist and you're dealing with this you know, composition of the table, the more you know about the table, the, le <laughs> the less familiar it is to anything that you know. So that, you know, you know that it's made of molecules with spaces in between, but by the time you get to quantum mechanics, you're dealing with something that's totally foreign to human experience. Uh, like things have to be in, in the same, the same thing has to be in two different places at the same time. Uh, on the other hand, if you take anthropology, I think goes the other way around. You start with something that is really strange, like say, something I worked on, cannibalism in the Fiji Island. Uh, and that, it's not only strange, but probably repulsive to a lot of us. Uh, but I'll start with something that um, a Fijian chief said to a famous anthropologist in the 1920s. He said, after the, <clears throat> this uh, chief explained that he ha was uh, giving a, a feast to his carpenter who had made a great double canoe for him of a, a very important item, and he said to his carpenter, you know, I'm very sorry that I can't give you a raw woman or a cooked man, he said. But uh, Christianity has spoiled our feasts, he said. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing you, you, first thing you, an anthropologist would wonder about is, you know, why, what is a cooked man? What is a raw woman? Why are they equivalent? And of course, a cooked man is a cannibal victim. And a raw woman is the daughter of a chief, virgin daughter of a chief. The reason they're equivalent, as you find out if you stay there long enough and talk long enough, is that a cooked man is given as a sacrifice to the gods, who thereupon bestow fertility on the people, including the fertility of women and the fertility of the crop as a benefit of the sacrifice. And a raw woman is a direct means of the reproducing the society. So the two of them are equivalent. And that also helps explain why in certain parts of Fiji, in order to betroth the woman, you have to give a fine war club to her younger brother. The fine war club then procures a, 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 a victim, a cannibal victim, which is the equivalent of him losing his sister. Well, I see some people nodding in agreement, even through this light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, consider that you're now think of this as logical. <laughs> what first was repulsive is now something logical. But consider, moreover, that logic is something going on inside you and that you've been able to incorporate within yourself the way this thing is put together in another society. And you have that privilege because you're human, like the people concerned, and they are con meaningfully constructing their existence, and you as a human being can understand and traffic in meanings, given even foreign meanings, given a cons uh, sufficient time and explanation. So anthropologists have the privilege of understanding others in a way that's uh, fundamentally more powerful than any physicist can do, because we can make within our own minds, we can reproduce within our own minds the way that the world is put together for other people. And this is an extraordinary privilege and the extraordinary adventure of anthropology.